Visual Studio snippets can save you a lot of keystrokes while writing code. They're built in pieces of code that are saved in Visual Studio. Here is a quick preview of all the shortcuts we're going to cover in this video. Let's get started. I'm sure you've seen me use CW tab to print out a console write line straight to the code editor. And that's a really handy shortcut, but let's explore a few more. Let's say you have a situation where you forgot the static void main or you accidentally deleted it. You can press control space and using this little pop up in the bottom corner, you can show just all the snippets that are available. So we're going to go through some of these that are going to be really helpful and you can explore the full list using control space and pressing this icon. So first we're going to do SVM and then we can get our static void made coming back straight away. And then we can print something really quickly saying hello world. The next one I want to explore is if statements. So we can go onto new line, simply type in if, use our arrow key to go one down to that little snippet icon and just press tab. And as you can see, it puts your cursor straight on the true value so that you can keep typing straight away. And there you go. As well as if statements, we also have the switch available. So again, the same with the if statement, as soon as you create it, it'll automatically put your cursor straight onto here so you can just immediately start typing. Now I don't have a variable for this, so let's just write true. And there you go. This also works with snippets like for loops, so you can type in for, use the arrow keys, go down to the second one and just hit tap. And then with a for loop, it's quite helpful because as soon as you type in, int i equals zero, it will automatically type that in for you. But once you change the i variable, let's say you want to change it to number, you can see that all of the references to i have now been changed. So you can use tab to get all the way through without using your mouse. If you wanted to make a reverse for loop, you can type for with additional r, and then it'll do in reverse. So you can see the length is minus one, and then it's going to greater than or equal to zero. And the same thing here, you can use number, and it'll just change all the references across the board. Just like so. You also have for each available. Var item in args. We don't have a value for this, so we can leave it like this. We have the while loop available. And again, it will jump straight to your cursor to put while true in there. As well as while loop, we have the do while loop. So we can press do tab twice. And then again, it'll take our cursor straight to the while true at the bottom. If you want to be using try catches for error handling, you also have that available. So we can use try and again, it will jump straight to the catch exception and you can type that in and it'll all work fine. Using interfaces, classes and props, we can also create that as well. So let's say we want to create a class called person with the interface. So we can type in interface and then we can do I person and then press tab again. It'll jump straight to the middle and then we can use prop and then tab again. And then we can create the property. So let's just say name and then we can do that on the second line and we can just say age and then remove the public because it's a prop inside the interface where we want to go make the class we can just type in class and then we can do person colon i person and then very quickly because we're going to get an error saying it does not implement the interface we can just do prop and then do name and that's one done and we can do prop and then do age and that's the other one done and there you go we've removed our syntax errors and created all the classes and the interfaces quite quickly and then normally with the class you create a constructor so we can actually use ctor in here and then we'll get the constructor built for us. Another handy little snippet for this, if you want to create a constructor with the name and age as the parameters, you can just press enter, create a new line here, press this little tool and click generate constructor and you can select name and age and press OK and it'll generate that straight for you. So you can pull around a lot of code quite quickly using all of these shortcuts. If you were to create your own shortcut, you can go to tools, and then go to code snippet manager, and then inside there you can do add, or if you've created outside, you can use import. If you want me to walk you through how to make these, drop me a comment below and I'll make a full video on how to make a specific snippet yourself. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you some of the snippets that are available within Visual Studio 2022 to be able to make your code experience a lot faster and a lot quicker. I have an ultimate C Sharp Udemy course linked in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.